What's going on guys, welcome to another awesome video where I'll be doing stuff. I completely fluffed that one up. What's going on guys, welcome to another awesome video. So the Lego movie came out a couple of weeks ago. It was amazeballs. 10 out of 10 would see again. Um, but then again I'm into that kind of humour and I laugh at the like silliest toilet joke in this poop. <laughs> That's my life. That's what my wife has to deal with. So I thought I'd create something Batman and something Lego. The main problem is if you try and put little Lego thingies on an FDM machine, they don't really come out as nice. You'll need an SLS or a DLP machine to actually achieve the detail that you're looking for. So I thought, why not make a Batarang, a Lego Batarang? But once again, instead of making it a bit tiny, I'll make one full size. So I jumped into SolidWorks here. I decided I'm going to start off and create a basic sketch frame, just to give me an idea of what I'm going to be working with and the shapes I'm going to create. There was a lot of back and forth with this just to get the correct scale and the correct size and the correct shape that I was looking for. Basically because I didn't use any reference for this, I just did this from memory of a picture that I saw earlier that day. Um, I wanted to just test my memory. <laughs> Once I got the shape that I was happy with, I decided to split it up for printing. Um, I split it up into four pieces, um, the two main bodies and then the two tips. I then revolved a little cylinder hole in it just to put a plastic rod within just to keep it together and make it slightly stronger. I sliced these in uh, the new Cura. Use some basic slice settings, nothing special, um, and printed them to both of them together. Once they were printed out, I just used a bit of super glue, slid in the little rods, used a bit of accelerator spray just to make the process a little bit quicker, and then put them together, lined them up, let them dry, and then glued the two halves together. The same process. You could use a slightly better glue if you want to actually throw this and make it more sturdy, but this is more of a display piece. There you have it. So this is a simple little print prints one, two, three parts. No, I'm one, two, three, four parts. Um, about 16 hours for the total print. Easy to print with uh, three simple little pens, and you've got yourself a full size Lego battery. Like I said, it's a fun little project. This was printed in Matter Hacker's Grey PLA. Pro PLA. Um, also, some of the, the material that they sent me um, a little while back after I met them in Solid. As far as I can tell, it's, the material is good. Um, I, I can't really say it's amazing. Um, it's difficult to judge PLAs, but it is above there with the top brands, um, high quality Pro PLAs. Should I be testing the Nylon X uh, carbon fiber material? So that's a material I'm excited to try out because it gets allows me to use a different material and I want to just try to find some applications for it, what I can do with it. Give me some ideas, things I can print in carbon fiber. Um, don't say dildos, I've done that. It'll be interesting to see what I can do with that. Um, but in the meantime, here's this awesome little Lego Batman battery, full size. 
If you want to print your own Lego Batman Batarang, you can download this off my mini factory today. If you want to get hold of your own Matter Hackers material, down below there is an affiliate link. If you buy any material off that link, I will get some money back, which would be fantastic. If you're in the States, Matter Hackers is amazing because they offer free shipping throughout the States. Being in the UK, you do have to pay some shipping, but it's worth it. Um, get yourself a couple of spools, try it out, see what you can do with it. Please give me some ideas of things that I can print in carbon fiber. Once again, no dildos. Let me know down in the comment section down below. And please like this video and please subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. We'll see you guys in the next one. Didn't work. <laughs>